that's um, when I dedicate my time to modeling, like full time, and I get to travel, which is a great thing to do. Um, so that's, yeah, that's when I dedicate my time, because I can, and I don't have to worry about studying and doing class and other things. What was, uh, what was your first trip? My first trip um, was to Osaka in Japan. Um, I was there for two, two and a half months. Um, it was, it was good. It was a huge culture shock for me. Um, Japan is like nothing I've ever seen or been to, um, but it was really cool. Like I would love to go back there. I'd love to go to Tokyo because the city is just amazing. Um, as for modeling, it is very small. Um, only like three really main agencies and you know pretty much all the models there because it's just very very small and there's not as many like agent or as many clients as Tokyo so um, it was an adjustment um, I talked to other people who've been to Osaka and they kind of agreed with me that you know it's it's not the best place to go for some people some people work really well and if you don't you're kind of just sitting there um, you know, it, I got very homesick because I wasn't used to being on my own, especially in another country. People don't speak your language. And I was living with girls from different countries. Like, I had no girls from Canada or the States, so I was very alone. And it was just, it was a big adjustment. You know, I, um, there was times when I just, I really hated it, and then there was times where I was working, so I was happy. Um, but for the most part, um, I've had better experiences in different countries, so I don't think I would ever go back to Osaka. But that doesn't mean that it's bad for everyone, right? Like, everyone has good and bad stories.